In this video, I'm going to make a full review about the Omen 27i, which is a 1440p 165Hz monitor, and I'm going to discuss prices, the software, and a lot more on this video. So if you're interested in buying a new monitor and you want that high refresh rate, but also high resolution experience, this video is going to be for you. Before starting, I want to say that throughout the video, I will talk about which PCs are compatible with this gaming monitor. So make sure to stay at the end if you don't have a gaming PC or if you want to see if your PC is going to be compatible with this monitor because not every single gaming PC is going to take advantage of this resolution and refresh rate. With that being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the price. This monitor is expensive at 385 bucks, but it's on a discount right now. It used to be $510 which is much more expensive. So if you're interested in buying this monitor, I think that the time to buy it is right now, because even though 385 bucks, it's expensive. Believe me that you are going to get the performance that you want out of this monitor with those specifications that I'm going to talk about right now. This one, like I said before, it's a 1440p, a 165 Hertz monitor, meaning that the resolution and refresh rates are going to be, in my opinion, the best in the market right now. I wouldn't go with a 4K monitor. You need a really high-end gaming desktop to run at 4K high refresh rate. And I wouldn't go with 1080p because that is becoming old. 1080p gaming is becoming the new 720p. So 1440p is the perfect balance and 165 hertz is the perfect balance as well, talking about refresh rates. Then you get an APS panel, which is the best panel out of the three. If we compare BA, TN and IPS, IPS is going to have the best colors. It usually has a slower response time, but this monitor has a one millisecond great to great response time, which is great for gaming, especially those competitive games. But I'm going to talk about an option in the software that is going to help you out with those type of games. So talking about the software, you get the Omen software, which I absolutely love, where you have three different options, the picture mode, the lighting and the display. On the picture mode, you can change between a bunch of settings depending on what you want to do. If you want to do gaming, then click the gaming option. If you want to watch a movie, then click the movie option for you to change the colors to adapt to whatever situation you're in. Then you have the lighting option where you can change the RGB lights of the monitor and it's going to allow you to change colors from two different sectors and you have plenty of colors to choose from. You can also pick the color by yourself by clicking in advanced. That way you can make your room as pretty as possible. You also have different effects for these colors. So maybe you want the breathing color, then you can change it to that without any issues. And last but not least, we have the display option, which is my favorite. You can put the FDS counter and also a crosshair overlay, but this is not the reason on why this is my favorite section. It is my favorite section because you can control the response time and you can switch it from normal to the fastest. You are going to lose some picture quality if you pick the fastest, but I do recommend you going and switch to the fastest response time if you're playing competitive games such as Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite or whatever FPS game. So for competitive gaming, you want to have it at the fastest. But if you're not playing competitive, let's say you're playing GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, or you're just not gaming, then click the normal response time so you have the best picture quality. Now, if you find this monitor too expensive for you, I completely get it. And that's why I'm going to keep you a few options that are cheaper than this one that are going to perform great as well down below in the description. Of course, I'm going to leave this monitor right there as well. And I'm going to also leave gaming PCs that will support this monitor for three different budgets, low end budget, medium end budget and high end budget. So depending on how much money you got, if you don't have a gaming PC to support this monitor, I will leave it down below in the description. And if you want a PC build, I have a bunch of videos talking about PC builds that you can go ahead and watch on my channel. And the ones that have 1440p on their title or thumbnail, those are the ones that you wanna click for this monitor. But if you wanna hear exactly which GPU and CPU you need to take advantage of this monitor, I would recommend for the GPU at least the 3060Ti or the RX 6700XT. You can make the case and go with the 6650XT if you're on a tight budget. And then for the CPU, I would recommend the i5 12400F or the Ryzen 5 5600 or 5600X. That's my favorite combination for 1440p. Of course, from there, you can upgrade the GPU and the CPU, but to have a really good experience at 1440p, 165Hz, 
without having to spend, let's say, more than $1,400, I think that those are the best combinations for you. I've tested this monitor in two different Pro PCs, the HP Omen 45L, that one has the 3080, and of course it's going to perform great, but it's expensive. Anyways, I will leave that video in the top right of the screen, and the other PC that I've tested was the Victus 15L. This one, if you do the right upgrades and downgrades, it's going to cost you around $1,200 with the RTX 3060 Ti. It used to be $1,000, right now it's more expensive, so it's probably going to cost you more. However, you will have that video as well in the top right of the screen, so if you have a budget of around that number and you want this monitor, you will have my full guide. Another thing to mention are the ports. On the back, you get three USB 3.0 ports, one display port, and you don't have to buy a display port because it's going to be inside the box, and that is something great. With that being said, that was my review about this whole monitor, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, which I do from 3 to 5 times a week. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.